In this video we're going to take a very basic look, an introductory look, into carving leather or tooling leather. That's coming up. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Alrighty, so let's do some basic uh, leather carving. Rightio, so when we're tooling leather, um, I'm just going to do a very basic Celtic weave here. And then I'll uh, just add a few other details as we go. I use a stylus, which is basically a, a blunt sort of needle, I guess. And that just leaves an impression on the leather. You do need to have the leather relatively damp, but not wet if that makes much sense. And just be a little careful of your over and unders when you're doing your Celtic weaves. Fortunately today is not particularly humid or hot so I'm able to work relatively consistently. I live in Brisbane, Australia so I tend to find that um, I have to keep wetting the leather down to uh, to keep it consistent and then I tend to find that means the detailing doesn't always come out as well as I would like. Alrighty. Now I'll do the same on the other side. You should be able to see the leather absorbing the moisture there fairly readily. As it's a fairly thick bracer, I just want to make sure that's not wet, as I said, by damn. Okay, perfect. And just line it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a, um, a swivel knife just to uh, create a bit more of an impression in, in the tooling that we've done. And occasionally you may want to just apply a bit more moisture just to, uh, to keep your work consistent. So that's the basics of tooling and carving leather. Now we're just going to um, do a little bit more with some stamping. Now you can buy a whole range of different punches and obviously it depends on how much you want to do as to uh, what kind of work you want to you know, achieve. These tools don't tend to cost that much money. Um, you can buy them off various sites like Amazon, eBay and so on. And um, you will get different types of quality depending on, on you know where you get them from. However, um, Um, but the effect can be quite impressive. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.